in this lecture we will learn about hashing okay so hashing is basically so hash table is a data structure so which allows you to insert delete and search items very fast in fact very fast means it can search in o of one time an element for you okay so you we have seen till now link list okay link list can search for you in o of n time you have binary search tree okay so binary search tree can search for you in o of log of n time but this one can search for you in o of one time so now you will say how is that so fast okay so we will see with one example and the basic concept in hashing is a hash function okay so a hash function takes an input x and it calculates some value so hash function is nothing but a simple function okay where by which it is decided that okay if you have a key to which cell it is hashed so this is an example of hash function so this is a data structure hash table okay and let's say we have a very simple hash hash function x mod of 10 okay so this is our simple hash function now if you see so our hash function we take some inputs and they are 21 56 72 39 48 96 okay and let's say 13 okay so now what happens when we are inserting these elements so we will use hash function to decide where we should keep that value in the table so h of 21 will be 21 mod of 10 so it becomes 1 so we put in fact let's have something so we put it here h of 21 will be here and okay it's not visible so let's put it h of 1 comes here then h of 56 will be 56 modulo 10 so it will be 6 so we will have 56 here we will have h of 72 will be 2 so it will come here then we will have h of 39 is 9 so it will come here and h of 48 will be 48 modulo 10 so it will be 8 okay so 48 will come here so let's try to analyze what is happening when we are inserting so we are just evaluating this h of x which is x mod 10 and then we know where should we insert it in the table okay so if it is an array this hash table is an array h of t h t then if we have to insert x so we just do hash of x so it is where it is stored okay h t hash of x will be equal to let's say i was trying to store something okay so it is stored there so 72 so x will be x something like this so now let me see if i have written correctly okay so this is the place where we will store 72 will be stored in h t of 2 okay so this is fine yeah so now the thing is this is so beautiful now if i have to search let's say 72 so i will just do okay where is h of 72 i will find which is 72 percentage 10 so it's 2 i will know that okay it will be in the cell number 2 of this array okay so this is so far so good okay but uh, when we see our next input which is 96 so let's see what happens to 96 modulo 10 okay so this is again 6 so now we already have one element here this means uh, i'm putting 96 so what should happen and if i was using this one way by this method it will directly remove 56 and 96 will be there okay but we don't want that okay we want that okay we are hashing something so what is the approach here at least i know there is collision so this is one problem if you have more elements okay more elements than the number of cells 
you will definitely have collisions and in fact even you don't have those many elements as the number of cells then also you can have collision so can you think what will produce collision here so if, for example if i have numbers which are just multiples of some number okay let's say some numbers are there like 55 65 75 85 95 105 so if i put all these keys and 55 modulo 10 is again 5 so 55 will come here 65 75 85 95 105 so all of them will be just getting hashed to the same thing so one thing we know that okay we saw the best things about hash table that okay it can search in o of one time and then it can insert in o of one time in fact if i want to delete 72 h of 72 is 2 it was there in the list cell number two i can delete it okay so it's o of one but every good thing so has some uh, some problems with it also okay so this fast thing has or optimized search o of one time search has some problems that what happens when you have collisions so you have to deal with collisions in this one and the other thing is of course you have to design some hash table so our hash table x mod 10 okay so this will give some uniform numbers but again this is not good if all the numbers are multiple of five let's say okay then it's not good so what should how we design the hash table this is also a very important thing so this was for now for the preliminary of hash table okay in the next lecture we see how we design hash table and how we remove collisions so these will be in our next lecture thanks a lot